A tree farm is a designation from a national organization that essentially says you're doing a good job. And so you have to meet certain criteria to be eligible to be called a tree farm. My grandfather purchased the property in 1883 and it's been in the family ever since. It was originally clear cut and used for grazing up until 1985. In 1985, I planted the last of the grazing land in, back into trees. Today, it's 100% trees and back to where it was in the 1800s. The main thing about the timber that you have to remember, it's a renewable resource. And when you cut a tree, especially a redwood tree, it grows back. The, the stump doesn't die. It'll grow back from the, from the stump. In timber, it, it's 100% just Mother Nature. And so all we do is to, is to try to work with Mother Nature so that she can do her thing. And that's all, that's all we're doing. The trees that we harvest are the trees that are dying by Mother Nature's standards. In other words, it's, it's no different than weeding your gardens. If you, if, if you plant a bunch of carrots, you go in after a week or two and you thin your carrots. And basically that's, that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're taking the smaller carrots out that are gonna die anyway or wouldn't survive to make the other trees grow larger. The harvest age can be from 60 to 100 years. So it's a multi-generational crop. It's not just a one generation crop. And so what you try to do is sustain it so that there's, there's always a crop coming on. Redwood is a renewable resource and uh, the plastic is finite. I mean, when oil has gone, it's gone. And it takes oil to make plastic. Plus there's a, a lot of pollution to, to manufacture that plastic from the oil. It's all working with mother nature. Whether you're, you're a timber operator or a farmer or a, a rancher, you raise sheep, you raise cattle, you grow crops, you have to work with mother nature. And that's the secret is learning to work with mother nature because mother nature always wins. <laughs>